Installing the Houdini Engine plugin can be a little bit confusing at first. I know it was for me the first time I wanted to install it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna install it for Unreal Engine, but it's the same for the other softwares too. So let's do it. Head over to the SideFX website and log into your account, or create one if you don't have an account. After logging in, under Get, open the download page. Scroll down until you see the licensing options. Let me quickly explain them. There are four licenses. Under free personal learning, there is the apprentice license. Houdini Apprentice is the free version of Houdini. Using it, we can have access to pretty much all the features of Houdini FX, but in non-commercial projects. We can read about its restrictions here, so let's open it. Make sure to read all of these. The most important restriction is that the digital assets created with it cannot be used with Houdini Engine and Houdini Engine Indie. In other words, we can use them with Unreal or other softwares. So although it's great if you wanna learn Houdini, it's not suitable for our purposes. If you have Houdini Core or Houdini FX licenses, you should get the Houdini Engine or Houdini Engine for Unity and Unreal plugins. The Unity and Unreal plugins are free, but if you want to use it with Maya or 3ds Max, you should buy it. If you have the Houdini Indie license, you should get Houdini Engine Indie, and the same is true about the education licenses. To see the price of all the licenses, under Get, open the Buy page. Here you can read the details about each license, see how much it is, select the one that suits you the best and buy it. After that we should download and install the Houdini launcher. So in the download page, download the launcher and install it. It's easy to install. I've already done it, so let's open it. And as you can see, I've logged into my account. So do that, then on the left select the engine plugins tab and click on install. Select the latest production build. You can also install the daily build, but I usually go with the production build. Select the plugin you want, I want Unreal. Down here it says that it found no compatible Houdini, that's because I don't have Houdini on this laptop. We'll install it later. So let's click on install and wait for it to install the plugin. And it's done. It says that there's no Houdini, so press OK. And in the Houdini tab, click on install. Again select the latest production build. Make sure to install the same version as the plugin otherwise you may run into some issues. Let's enable the Unreal plugin just to be sure. Or in your case any of the other softwares you want. Enable create desktop shortcut and that's enough for now. Click on install and let's for the launcher to install Houdini. If you encounter this error, click on OK and OK again, then click on repair. It happened a couple of times while mine was being installed. After the installation is complete, go to where Houdini is installed. For me it's in Drive C, Program Files, Side Effects Software. Open the Houdini Engine folder. Here we can see the list of the softwares we installed the plugin for. I only installed Unreal. If I had installed any of the other options, they'd be here too. Open the folder and then the engine version folder. We can see that this version of Houdini has plugins for both Unreal 5.3 and Unreal 5.4. I have the 5.4 version, so let's open this folder. Here are all the Houdini plugins we can install for Unreal Engine. We're gonna only need Houdini Engine, but let's copy all of them. Press Ctrl C to copy and head over to where Unreal Engine is installed on your system. Go to Engine, Plugins and open the Runtime folder. And press Ctrl V to paste them here. That's it. Now let's open Unreal Engine to check it. On the top menu we can see that Houdini Engine menu has been added. And if we go to Plugins and search for Houdini, we can see the three plugins we pasted in the runtime folder. Now let's click on Houdini Engine and select Create Session. After a few seconds, it starts. Here I can't use it though because my Houdini license isn't installed on this system. It's installed on my main PC. So again, you should have one of the licenses. I recommend the Apprentice license to learn Houdini because it's free and the indie license to connect it with Unreal as it's way cheaper than the other options. So let's check the plugin on my main PC. If I drag the damage tool in the level, 
After a few seconds, we can see that the Houdini engine session is connected. Let's add a cube to the level. Add it to the damage tool. And we can see that it works. So that's it. Click here for more Unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching. Also a special thanks to my patrons for making this possible. Like this video, subscribe and join our communities. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.